Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. This has got to be one of the coolest concepts out here. Not just because it's an M715 and four military truck, but why? Because it's got a Hellcrate engine. <laughs> How can you not love a Jeep with a Hellcat engine? This is one of the most outrageous concepts at this event. You know what? Let's have Mark Allen, the guy behind this, do a walk around and show you not just the engine, but what makes this really unique. You know, Nathan, uh, when one is driving prototype Jeeps here at the Easter Jeep Safari, one works up an appetite. That's right, baby. Nothing really happens that appetite like beef jerky. Yeah, especially Paisley's beef jerky, which is local and grass-fed. That's right, baby. Anytime is jerky time. Oh, yeah. So to me, Mark, this has you written all over it. Does it? Yeah. Do I have a reputation now? Yeah, yeah you have a reputation. <laughs> Somehow. So obviously, it's based on the 715, right? Yeah, it's an M715. I need to come back to the origins of the story of this. But uh, M715, and people ask me all the time, Mark, what's your favorite Jeep? And it's, I spit out CJ5 because CJ5 is really the, the, uh, the prototype for Jeep. When we think about anything Wrangler, it's CJ5. But personally, you know, a favorite of mine is the M715. Why? As a kid, they look to me like a monster truck, right? Yeah, they had big, that, tall that, that tires. Grill is iconic. Yep, you know, the lean forward slanted. grill. Yeah, it's yeah. wonderful. It was never meant to be pretty. It was never dipped through design office, <laughs> so there was never a clay. And it's they were really just raw. Just like the uh, original Willys, right? I mean, yeah, same thing. absolutely. They were probably a hair shirt to drive. The, we drove this one around right when we got it. We got it off of Craigslist, found it. It says 1968. We kept the chassis and the cab and nearly everything else we, we redid. So the chassis, we reinforced it. We put uh, coilovers on it, all four corners, a Dana 60 in the front, and a monstrous Dana 80 in the back. The, the body, from here forward, it's all custom made. Made the fenders even higher, they dip into the hood even. Really aggressive hood on it. And the front end lean, which I think is so cool, we actually went a little more and moved the lights up so they're so they're a little hooded. This is actually the headlight down here. Okay, yeah, these, the rigid. These rigid. And then yeah. these are some high mochas, high powered, uh, off-road lights, so they're they're blinders. There is a ridiculous amount of power in this thing, over 707 horsepower. We do not have uh, the wherewithal to punch it, which I really would like to do, but it would probably be a really bad idea. Right now, this is just a sample drive so we can get a feel for it. Now, I can tell you a couple things. For one, if you're driving a vehicle like this, you're going to struggle with the steering constantly. It's old school. <laughs> also, the accelerator is extremely sensitive. I am barely touching it. Half this course, I was in idle as I was going around. And there's a reason it's got these massive air intakes, right? Because of what's under the hood. Yes, uh, I'll have to open the hood. Go push that button over there. There we go. So we called our, our buddies over at Mopar and they uh, they delivered a Hellcrate engine for us. Yeah, so it's a, a supercharged 6.2, 707 horsepower. Yeah, I love how you painted the, is that header? Yeah, it's a matched. Yeah, uh, the gold. Yeah, so the, the axles gold. are gold. We yeah. just, we dipped the whole truck in grays and golds and we're thinking about military metals and stuff like that. So that's that's the paint scheme. Yeah, a little bit of your own uh, yeah. touch there. Painted the uh, the firewall and the whole inside of the cab, uh, reminiscent of that zinc chromate you would see inside of a bomber or something like that. So we tried to do military, but not didn't want to paint the truck military green like that's all of them. That's a little bit of a hot rod in you, Mark. Uh, yeah, 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 me and uh, Chris, uh, we got a little hot rod issue going yeah. on, yeah. Yeah, because this feels very hot rod. Yeah. The uh, Trans is an old school 727 through speed and then hooked to a, a T case and then out to the axles. Really basic can it stuff. Can that much horsepower? It, it can, yeah. absolutely. Okay. It's, yeah, they're, they're badass. This thing jumps, it's crazy how it, it moves. Even with these big old wheels, huh? It has no tr troubles at all. Yeah. Again, 40s on a 20 inch wheel, it's a beadlock wheel, uh, Dynatrack axles. Sounds amazing. Gauge cluster in this thing is extraordinary. And what they did was they 
cut it up so a lot of it is from the original and then they just went and put a whole bunch of new stuff in here and including a casing from a supercharger which is freaking awesome we kept the cab the is the metal cab but we uh Actually, the top on these are really thick. It's got like mom's attic up there. We, we just took some of the, the height out of the top, cut off the top of the windshield, but the glass is the same size. Kept the original controls, I see. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, it's the old uh, light control. We, we repurposed that for the uh, air compressor and the axle lockers. And then the whole dash is just kind of very military custom. We made, we made all of that. I don't know if you saw the 871 supercharger we used for the, the shifter tower. Yeah, that's really nice. Kept all the that's data nice. plates. Is that your idea? That's really yeah, inspired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really cool. The inside of this truck, they, they weren't really beautiful. This is actually military, really cool. Right? Yeah. These, are, these are tools. You know, how, yeah. how many hours are in this? How much time is... A lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but it was this was really labor of love. Here's the door handle. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's really but cool. But it's just really... It's a little over the top, but intentionally so. Right? A little. Yeah, I'd say yeah. it's, it's, you know, well, we're thinking about the top is here, Mark. You're here. <laughs> we're thinking about the photographers when they look at these trucks, and we want to give them everything to look at. So, a little bit of acceleration. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, sounds good. But the bottom line is a vehicle like this, it really is. Just a concept and just for fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And again, the, the box on a, uh, a M715 is really just a fabricated thing. It's not, it's not styled at all. We remade the box from scratch. This is all water jetted aluminum. It's a really fast build method. We water jetted aluminum. We did some brake press on it uh, and then even uh, milled the wood in between. If you threw sand in here, it'd just pour right out the bottom. It's not really meant to be all of that. Kind of a pickup beautiful. truck. It's just a beautiful thing. You could throw bags back here. Yeah, I love these welds. They're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, the guys did a great job. This is all just open aluminum on it. This is, this is the air intake for the exhaust. I mean, for the. Uh, for it's the just tank. a vent for the tank, right? Yeah. And it's got this great cap on here. I don't know if you saw this sort of military grade old race car look to it. Yeah. You know, what, you, know, you know what this feels like? This feels like. Um, like an old motorcycle gas cap. There's a guy in Michigan that makes these things. They're you know, just a in, work of art. In, in California in the 50s, right, all those engineers who were working on um, yes. jet propulsion. Yes. And then in their spare time. They were making hot rods. They were, they were going stuff. to Bonneville. Yeah, yeah, they were making stuff yeah. like this. Like, see, this is a really simple thing to do. We just we just uh, milled it out, put it on the brake press, and it's reminiscent of that original. Now, the other thing that's cool is, I, 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 my friend had one of these. And it actually had these, right? These were for like... Uh, that goes all the way through. I was told like it was... Stretchers, right? Right? Yeah, so for a litter. Stretch, you put yeah. a stretcher in there, yeah. and so you could put it all the way through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, use the old school Jeep lettering, and there's another truck out here that has that, and it was just uh, a really kind of a different twist on it. The taillights are the original M715 taillights, but we, we've uh, filled them up with LEDs in there. So so uh, I like the uh, fuel cans, right? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. See, these are actually, you were asking hot rod, I mean, this is how you hold the hood side, or the hood top down on your 32 Ford. This is the original data plaque. It was on the front of the truck, okay. and we didn't paint them or anything. But we just uh, recrafted it, stuck it on the side here. So, so, do you like lay up at night thinking about all this? Um, or where does what's, it, where does what's it most it? What's most fun about this yeah. build is the constant uh, the designer and me, Chris, yeah. the constant text messages. They're going back all night. Uh, I figure w what we should do. Yeah. This is cool. Oh, hey, look at that. It's the end of a long day. Yes, at the end of a long day. You don't need a stretcher, but you need something that will put you in a stretcher. And enough for your friends. <laughs> Fun stuff. <laughs> the other thing uh, I want people to know is when we got the truck, it came with extra, it had all the uh, seats in the back and the cover, had extra wheels, all these extra parts. And I, I talked with our finance department. We found a way. All the parts that we pulled off this and all the spare parts are going to be put together on a, a pallet and we're going to get them back into the community. Oh, nice. So nothing will go to waste. waste. So, out of all the concepts that we've seen here, is this your favorite? No, it's not, but it is one of the most extreme. 
Yeah, because it is a purpose-built military Jeep with a Hellcat engine. No, it's a toy that the psychopaths over at Jeep Design decided to build. That's really what it is. And attention to detail is incredible. Guys, thank you for joining us. And remember, check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, Moab reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.